conjugate prior for a geometric likelihood. Two scenarios covered. When the number of trials are up to and including the first success, and when the number of trials are up to but not including the first success. Let's look at the first one. We can write our likelihood, the geometric distribution, as the probability of x given theta is equal to 1 minus theta to the power of x minus 1 times theta, where theta is the probability of success and x represents the number of trials. The beta distribution is the conjugate prior for geometric likelihood because the geometric distribution times a beta distribution is proportional to a beta distribution. A likelihood times conjugate prior is proportional to the posterior. The beta distribution can be written as the probability of x given alpha and beta is equal to gamma of alpha plus beta over gamma of alpha times gamma of beta times x to the power of alpha minus 1 times 1 minus x to the power of beta minus 1. We need to swap the x's with theta because the sample parameter is represented by theta. Because we are only looking at the proportionality, we can ignore the constants. Simplifying this, we will have theta to the power of alpha plus 1 minus 1 times 1 minus theta to the power of beta plus x minus 1 minus 1. This is proportional to a beta distribution with parameters alpha plus 1 and beta plus x minus 1. Replacing these parameters into a beta distribution, we have our complete posterior distribution. So now we know that the beta is a conjugate prior to the geometric distribution. Now let's look at scenario 2, when the number of trials are up to but not including the first success. We can represent this as the probability of x given theta is equal to 1 minus theta to the power of x times theta. We will consider the same beta prior. The posterior is proportional to the likelihood times prior. Replacing the likelihood, we have 1 minus theta to the power of x times theta. Since we only need the terms involving theta, from the beta prior we will have theta to the power of alpha minus 1 times 1 minus theta to the power of beta minus 1. Simplifying this just as we've done before, this is proportional to beta distribution with parameters alpha plus 1 and beta plus x. Replacing these parameters will give us the complete posterior distribution. So now we have proven that the beta is a conjugate prior for a geometric likelihood.